I'm Farnoosh Tarabi, personal finance expert, podcaster, and author. I'm also a mom to two. And motherhood for me has been a huge financial gift, and I've actually doubled my income in the years that I've been a parent. I grew up in a household where money wasn't hush-hush, because I was a financial journalist too, so really didn't have an excuse to not get my financial situation in order, but that didn't help all of the you know problems. I was working as a journalist, making $18 an hour before taxes. So I had $30,000 in student loans, had another five, $6,000 in credit card debt. And so, you know, it was serious stuff because I'd been freelance writing all these articles about money and millennials that actually collectively became the first book that I published. I was able to pay off all my student loans with it. So one of the things that happened since I've had children is I've made more money. And I do think that that is directly correlated to becoming a mom. I'm the female breadwinner in my marriage. And when my children were born, that didn't change. But I realized I couldn't continue the sort of earning pace that I did in terms of how I was earning. I kind of made up my own maternity leave. It was about eight to 10 weeks. What really helped me phase back in was having a space outside of the home to work because once I got home, there was no working from home. Any work that I left for when Evan went to sleep was never gonna get done because I was exhausted. After I had my first kid, I remember going back to a work conference and being really excited to be back in the field. And one of the things I kept noticing was a lot of people in my space had been starting podcasts. I thought this would be actually kind of perfect for me because I would be able to work from home but still be able to reach a large audience. So a few months later, I launched my podcast. It's been probably my best career move because I was being really practical and realistic about my new life. The skills that you have as a parent, those are directly transferable to work. And I know a lot of employers love hiring parents because they're the most productive people on staff. They're straight shooters. You are, become really good at maximizing your time, being straightforward with your clients. I think it's a great formula for financial success. I say this because I really want to encourage moms and dads to not feel like I either have to be a mom or I either have to have a career. Approach your career in the same way as you're almost approaching parenting, right? As, as a parent, you are very clear on your priorities. For sure, my career has had to become a lot more laser focused. I'm very okay with saying no to things now. And then I charge more for when I do do things. I get called in a lot to do television and meet with people in the TV world. And it's always fun, but a lot of times it doesn't lead anywhere. And in one particular event, I had the confidence to say, my time is precious. I came into this meeting because I want to get maybe a TV show out of this. That was definitely a mom move. And you know what? Three months later, we were filming the show. I think that as parents, you sometimes fall into this trap of thinking that more effort equals better parent. Not true. I outsource a lot of stuff. You know, I probably spend more money now having two kids, investing more in the things that will make our lives easier and better. Little things like ordering in instead of cooking every night. Two children is exponentially harder than one. And people who have a third kid, I'm like, you're just showing off. I will never be that mom who can just toss it together in the kitchen with five ingredients. I think that every woman is capable of having a fulfilling life. It's really about figuring out what your definition of a rich life is. So the message that I wanna to send to all working parents, especially moms, is don't underestimate yourself. If you're thinking about going back to work as a mom, don't just go to do a job that you like, do a job that you love. I know a lot of moms who spend their maternity leave taking care of their kids, but also thinking about, okay, well, I'm gonna go back to work, but, in a year, I'm gonna be my own boss, or I'm gonna job search. Because if you didn't like your job before you had kids, and now you're gonna go back to your job with kids, I'm gonna tell you, it's a recipe for stay-at-home mom. There's no one right way to be a working mom. So give yourself the freedom to explore that. I think everybody should find an outlet for themselves that is hard and scary because that's how you grow. I just wanna push women to push the envelope. I think being successful with your finances is 80% wanting it. And if you've already got the mindset that you want this, then you're gonna be successful with or without me.